Hey, hey, great to have you with us. Uh, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. We are listening to God. We're also living for Him every single day. Uh, that's the point of, of reading the Bible, and it's what we're going to be talking about for the next four weeks. I think it's so important. I want everybody to just have this confidence to be able to read the Bible and, and to kind of look at it and see that God loves you, to see that uh, God's giving us words of comfort, and they're words that we need. Uh, every single day. I think it's so important. Now, today we're going to be in Psalm 119, 81. Uh, and, and in all the passages we're going to look at are going to kind of help us in terms of how to read Scripture. So we're not just going to talk about the passage, but really kind of what is it teaching us? Like, what is it showing us? So, so if I'm getting ready to do a sermon or, or getting ready to do this video, what is this passage saying to me? And I think that's one of the big keys to understanding the Bible, reading it, uh, and reading it, I think, the way God intended. Um, because again, we often see it as just a bunch of information or something to kind of give me a spiritual boost for my day, kind of words of wisdom, if you will. Uh, it is all those things, but it's so much more. Right? It's this message from God. And today is a big question he's, I think God's asking us. And we got to ask ourselves, when we're looking at the Bible and our lives, like what do we long for? Like what can't we live without? In other words, what is the one thing that you really feel you need it this week to get through everything that you got to get through? Like what is it? Take a minute. Maybe, maybe you need to click the pause on this and really think about that. Is it God? Is it his word? Are you saying, man, I need God, right? All the other stuff can kind of fall by the wayside, but I need him. I need his word. I need the message he brings me every day because without that, I'm done. I'm toast. Uh, just, you know, I, I should just give up. But I have him, and, and, I, and so I know that I have what I need. What is that thing that you just can't do without? All right, so, so, me, so I hope you prayed about that and we're thinking about that. Here's what Psalm 119, verse, uh, look at verse 81. He, this is David. He says, My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. Now, when we hear word, I hope in your word, um, again, we have to remember this is, these aren't just a, a collection of ancient sayings. This is actually the word of the creator of the universe, our Lord and our God speaking directly to us. You can't disconnect who God is from his word, right? Any more than you could connect me from what I say. Uh, or, or your, your parents from what they said, your, your kids from what they say, politicians in our world from what they say, because it comes out of them. It's, it's, it's from them. And so when, when, when David says, I hope in your word, he's like, man, what I need is what you have to say. And God, it's, it's, it's all about you and who you are. It's his way of saying, look, I need the Lord and what he has to say to me every day. And his soul longs to be saved by God, to be rescued by God. See, David went through some stuff, man. David had some real issues when it came to sin and other things. So when he says that, that, that he longs for God's salvation, he knows what it is to feel the weight of his brokenness, the weight of failures, the weight of sin and death. It was there, but God brought truth to him, brought life to him, brought love to him, and, and he was forgiven, he was free, and, and so are we, right? Jesus died for us. I, I pray that we see that in here and long for that. Not just the other things, right? The food, the, the money, all the other things that we, we, we find ourselves longing for, we find ourselves spending a lot of time on. God's going, he, he wants us to know more than anything that he's what we need. We can do without all those other things. So when I look at Scripture, I want to have that as my mindset. I want to have that as my experience when I, when I leave it, that, I'm, that I've heard from Him. Again, I'm listening to Him, but also I'm going to live that out. And I'm going to question maybe some of my longings today, question some of the things that I, that I put my hope in today. I know that, that I can put my hope and have all of my longings be satisfied in 
Jesus and what he's done for me. All right, I hope that helps. Share this with somebody and we'll talk to you next time.